Tonight, for the first time, we are getting an inside look at the shooting at a Buckhead Club in May. Today, in a preliminary hearing, the courtroom watched security footage from inside the 1145 lounge, including the moments prosecutors say the shooting happened, leaving two people dead and four more injured. 11 Lives Molly Oak has more from the next steps for this case. And today in the hearing, the judge determined there was probable cause, meaning enough evidence for the case to move forward toward a trial. Now, take a look at your screen. We're going to take you inside the courtroom today. Only one witness took the stand, Detective LaToya Francis with the APD Homicide Unit. She testified that cell phone records showed that defendant Karanji Reese's phone was in the area of the lounge at the time of the shooting. She also testified that security checks happened at the 1145 lounge, adding that she watched security footage showing who she believes is Reese getting searched. As the courtroom watched security footage, the detective says it shows one of the victims, 20-year-old Nikairis Ridley, punching the suspect and that suspect firing a gun. However, defense says the charges should be dropped, saying at best the state placed the defendant at the club but never showed him committing any crimes. Meanwhile, we spoke with the other victim, Mari Creighton's family, outside the courtroom. Today I'm happy that it was probable cause. I don't want him or anyone else involved to ever see the day of light because my daughter won't. And um, it still won't bring her back. I still feel the same grief but I don't want them to enjoy their lives. Meanwhile, Reese's family says he's innocent and says police need to find the real shooter. Reporting in Atlanta, Molly Oak, 11 Alive News.